a day or two ago, we took up the issue of conspiracies. And in our first segment on conspiracies, I answered the question why it is that Christians are so susceptible to believing in conspiracies. The second segment, uh, I talked about why I don't believe in conspiracies. But then in the third segment, we had a little bit of fun. Uh, in which I argue that, in fact, there is a real conspiracy uh, seeking one world government, seeking uh, one world religion, and that it goes by the name of the kingdom of God. That is, that the work of Christ in this world uh, is toward that end where every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. And that may have sound, especially given uh, our own uh, cultural decline, uh, somewhat bold and odd. Why would I have so much confidence that Jesus is going to win? And that's the question I want to seek to answer in today's Ask RC. Why am I so sure Jesus is going to win? And the short answer is because he's Jesus. And Jesus always wins. Now, there are, within the evangelical church, any number of competing perspectives on how the world will end. Uh, the dominant view in our day, though certainly not the dominant view historically, but the dominant view in our day essentially sees the world getting worse and worse, and that the function and the call of the church is to uh, sort of drag unbelievers to onto the lifeboat that they would come and accept Jesus, get their souls saved, and then we would wait for a, a better time in a better world uh, while we're trying to get more people in the lifeboat. Uh, it's what I would call a pessimillennialist perspective, and it's not my perspective. I believe instead that Jesus is right now about the business of bringing all things under subjection, that uh, he is that rock uncut by human hands that Daniel 2 talks about, uh, that is in the process of covering the earth, that the power and the influence of the gospel will cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. Uh, I believe that the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed that grows until all the birds find uh, build their nests in it. So, yeah, I, I've got all sorts of reasons. I believe that uh, when Jesus tells us to pray, uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, that that means that's what he prays. And I believe that the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. Uh, when he tells us to go make disciples of the nations, I believe uh, that that's going to succeed. Because Jesus always wins. When Jesus suffered and died on the cross... Never was there a darker, blacker, more desperate and despairing moment in the history of the world, which was at one and the same time the deepest, greatest, most electric, most impactful victory in the history of the world. Every time it looks like he's losing, he's winning. In fact, the bigger it, the more it looks like a loss, the more it's a, a win. A along those same lines, it's been said for centuries now that the seed of the church is the blood of the martyrs. That is, however bad things get, it actually helps. And the reality is, is that often when things get good, they get bad for the church. So I have confidence and when I say, you know, Jesus is not just my Savior, he's my Lord, in both instances, I'm not saying that I put him in those places. I'm saying that's what he is. He is Lord of Lords. He tells us to be of good cheer, for he has already overcome the world, which means every bit of cultural decline, every bit of lost influence, every failure of the church is all part and parcel of his plan to manifest the glory of his reign. Why do I believe Jesus will win? Because he already has, and he always will.